thanks for tuning in again, guys. Um, today's going to be something uh, a little different. Uh, so there's a lot of speculations and rumors going around that frog glue is nothing but coconut oil. Um, so we're going to do a little test here just to see if we can find any uh, comparisons, anything similar, and anything not similar that might uh, debunk this. Um, one of the things that concerns me right off the bat is the uh, fire right here, caution. Okay, so it says, will burn if overheated. Uh, do not use deep fryer, do not leave unattended when heated. Uh, you know, so there's just a lot of uh, heat. Okay, and this is just some stuff that I already had, so I didn't have to go buy anything. But um, I have done some testing off film um, with some knives and some other things. <laughs> Coconut oil does work. Uh, it'll remove rust. Uh, it does leave a glaze behind. And that's one of the things, like with the paste, is similar. So you can see, um, you have the paste. Both of them are paste. So, you know, there, there are some similarities already just off of appearance. Um, And also, this uh, coconut oil does melt when it hits something that's hot. Uh, so there's already, you know, that going for it, and then it also does leave back uh, a, an oily uh, film after you uh, you wipe it off. So uh, what I'm going to do is <coughs> I'm going to get two of my firearms and um, uh, just pull the barrels out. I'm not going to clean inside because, like I said, this stuff says. Uh, no heat now. I think if you were in a bind um, Which I'll give my opinion after this is all up um, If you're in a bind and you need something to clean I would say this would be fine just as long as you made sure uh, That you really really ran some patches uh, through your barrel just to uh, Just to make sure that it was all out of there um, So let me get that set up and uh, I'll be joining you back here in just a second all right, and we are back. Uh, so basically, what I got here, this is uh, Glock 42 barrel, and this is my Glock 43 barrel. Uh, I figure they're similar, especially with the coatings and everything on them. They're going to be virtually identical. So try to keep the test fair. Uh, they both have been uh, degreased, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just like what's supposed to be done. I'm going to heat these up and uh, we're going to apply the uh, both to both. Um, now, most people, you know, that's heard about this, probably got butt hurt when they found out that frog loop was possibly just uh, coconut oil. Me, on the other hand, being tight ass that I am, I thought, sweet. You know what I mean? Like, I can just stop buying this, start buying this, or take some of this and make more of that. Just add this to that, mix it all together, boom. Uh, which I haven't come to that determination yet if I'm going to do that. Uh, this is what this test is for. Uh, it's kind of a test for me. I'm just putting it on film. So I'm not trying to prove or debunk anything really to you. Uh, I'm doing it for my own personal sake. Like I said, I've done some tests on some knives and a couple magazines that were rusty, some old ones that I had. For the most part, the coconut oil worked. So, um, okay, so let's get going. Uh, I'm going to bore you with uh, seeing the heat process done. Um, also, the sound. But literally all I'm going to do, I'm just going to put these two on top of each other like so. And I'm just going to turn the heat on. I'm going to do it for um, probably about five minutes or so just to get a good heat uh, soak into the the barrels. And then we'll, we'll do our testing from there. So, uh, 
Again, hang on real quick. I'm going to save you the boredom of listening to this. Okay. Done with that part now. So set this off to the side. Um, 43, 42 barrels. Going to get the frog glue. 43 is going to get the coconut oil. So uh, we'll get started here. Um, Let's start with the frog glue first, just in case you guys have never seen what happens. So you can tell it's a paste, okay? But once it hits the heat, the hot parts, it melts. Okay, and the heat's supposed to open the pores of the metal. Um, and this is supposed to be a micro lubricant. Um, the heating the metal, uh, it might be hype. But I do know that um, <clears throat> from working in a tool shop uh, many years out of high school, um, all metals, no matter how smooth and polished they are, have pores. And you need a, mic a fine micro lubricant to, uh, to get into those pores. I mean, it's common sense. You got certain cracks and crevices, but the molecules aren't big enough or too big to get in there. It's not going to season. Um, the part so here it is okay it's all wet so under heat frog glue paste turns to a liquid okay now okay so here we go this one stuff's just white okay it melts too. Um, from my experience, experiments before this with a couple pocket knives and stuff, it don't seem to melt as good, but it still does melt. I think it got a little too much on there. Okay, same thing, you can see this thing is totally saturated with the coconut oil. Okay. Okay. Now, now all we gotta do is wait. Uh, we're gonna see because frog glue does, uh, once it cools down, it pastes back up. Um, we're gonna find out if the, the coconut oil will react the same way once this all cools back down. Will it go back to a solid form similar to what the frog glue does? So, um, yeah, I'm gonna give it about. Oh, 10 minutes to 20 minutes and uh, well basically I'm just going to keep watching this one the frog loop and uh, we'll be back as soon as this one sets up and we'll see if this one sets up too real time okay hang on all right so we're back um, here's what the results are so the frog loop did or is doing what it's supposed to do where it uh, basically solidifies back up. Okay, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. Now, the coconut oil is not. It's still wet. It's still liquid. Um, so it don't do, it don't set back up uh, like the frog lube does. So, um, which I already knew that going into this because like I said I tested uh, a couple pocket knives uh, that I have so what I'm going to do is do what's recommended I got a microfiber towel here um, just going to wipe off this frog glue okay Okay, 
I'm gonna use the other end of the towel to do the coconut oil that way there's nothing no cross contamination there. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands just to, so I don't get any false readings here. Um, so hang on. All right, <clears throat> so I just wanted to wash my hands just to uh, make sure I didn't have any. Um, since I already know what the uh, the f what they expect out of the frog loop, I'm gonna check the, uh, the one I did in coconut oil. So I mean it. It leaves a film behind. That is, I mean, you can see it just picking up in the camera. Um, it's leaving a slight glaze. As if it's doing the same thing that frog leaf did. Um, not as good, though. Not picking up a little bit on film. One on the rice, the frog lube. Pretty darn close, but just ever so much in favor of the frog lube. Um, can't tell. Um, so uh, that's it. I do know. I mean, the stuff will clean. But here's the thing I want to really touch on with this this whole thing um same thing with the uh the fire clean thing that was going on um you know here here's how it works no matter what gun oil you guys are going to throw in the comments that you guys use and you don't like frog glue and you don't like this you don't like that you know you use you know break free clp all right well you can't make product out of thin air it has to start as something. You have to have a uh, a base to start with, and then from there you make it your own. Um, all your gun oils—they're all petroleum. They all get pumped out of the earth and sent to the foundries, to wherever, or the the places that uh, basically change the format. Because you could take a product like coconut oil and add one thing different to it and patent them as your own. Uh, that's how the system works. So all the oil that comes pumping out, um, you know, it gets sent to Penn's Oil, Mobile One, all these places. They do their own little thing to it and make it their own. <clears throat> so um, no different than this. This clearly has something in it that is different um, because there's this will withstand the heat. Whereas coconut oil, right on the box, right on the package, says will not. Um, it has something in it that makes it solidify back up. Um, and then also they're clearly doing something with the liquid that is different. Do I believe that frog glue possibly started life as coconut oil? Yeah, I do. I, I think that it, it started uh, as a base coconut oil um, because it is. Um, they have their uh, their food certification thing, um, so I do believe that it could have possibly started life as coconut oil. They changed some things around um, and made it their own. Same thing with that fire clean that's out there. You know, everybody's getting butt hurt because you know they're finding out that it started life as a vegetable oil. Well. I mean, if the stuff works, it works. Um, I, I use nothing but cast iron skillets when I cook, um, and I can tell you that vegetable oil is a mean cleaner, man. Um, you use it on your, your pots and pans that are cast iron, and it cleans stuff off of that that you didn't think was on there. So, um, 
you know, and it is what it is. Now, would I use this in my guns? No, I wouldn't run it in my guns, but would I use this as a cleaner? Possibly. Uh, and especially if, uh, you know, shit hits the fan or something like that. Uh, I would use it definitely as a cleaner. I would just make sure that it was all wiped down except for what was left over. Um, will I dilute my frog lube down with, uh, uh, my, will I dilute my frog lube down with coconut oil? Uh, maybe. Uh, we'll have to see. I mean, I still got a full jar. Maybe once I get a quarter of it gone, I might mix it all up. Heat it, mix it all up, and then throw it in the fridge and let it solidify back up. Um, so, there's your test. Take it for what it's worth. Uh, the end result, on my behalf, is yes, I think frog lube started as coconut oil. Will I still buy frog lube? Yep. Sure will. Um, this ain't making or breaking me. I'm not one of them guys that are going to get butt hurt because, you know, I think that it started life as uh, uh, frog lube. There's another YouTube video out there about this. <laughs> and all the guy does is says that he read in a blog that somebody sent this out for testing and the, the test results came back that it was uh, fro or coconut oil, basically only coconut oil. Well, here's the thing. They had to change something. Or any company that makes this uh, could sue them, patent them right issues. So you, ha they had to change something. Um, and that guy, that's basically all his video was. And he said that it was junk and he would never use it again. And I see the same thing on that that fire clean stuff. You know, people were just really, really upset about it. Well, um, you know, it had to start somewhere, and everybody's wanting to go with this uh, biodegradable stuff because it's safer for you, safer for the environment, and especially our children that are coming up into this, uh, you know, this this firearms thing. You know, I, I, I feel great about having something like this, and, you know, my children, you know, they, when they shoot, and I make them clean their own guns. You know, I can hand them this stuff, and I don't have to worry about any harsh chemicals or anything like that uh, soaking into the pores that are skins. Um, so, that's it. Uh, I don't know how scientific it was. Um, but I, I suggest, you know, hey, you guys do your own. I can tell you this, this stuff really does good on knives, uh, like pocket knives. Um, you know, get, try it out on just some small stuff and just see what you think about it. Um, this I already had, we'd already had um, for out of the showers and stuff like that. So um, I didn't have to go buy this. Um, but you know it does it does work really good on on certain stuff so thanks for watching guys uh, if you like the video please hit the thumbs up uh, subscribe share um, I'll put a link up so you can automatically subscribe and uh, like always thanks for watching